All right, Wormhole fans, we are back with a Winds of Exchange Key Force Celebration deck opening. Let's see what we've got in store. Okay, all right, so we've got the mender that hovers over dissection. What a weird, uh, what a weird little uh, deck. So we got Brobnar and we've got Equidon, we've got Sanctum. Um, again, pretty cool little uh, art here. Um, and we've got the uh, we've got the Equidon token. So um, let's see what we got. So deck list we'll go over here. All right. So Diplomat is our token. Elusive. After reap, each player gains one. I want to go fast. So let's see if we can go fast. Uh, Diplomat will go up here. See first. Okay. So we ooh here we go. We've got Harmal Latoon. Oh boy. Do we have the band? This might mean we have the band. Um, each other friendly Brobnar creature gains destroyed return this creature to its owner's hands with an amber pip. So hold on, does this mean does this mean what I think it means? All right, we're gonna we're gonna hold we're gonna hold this to the side for now. Um, I genuinely don't know if that's like the full, but it is Brocken. So I'm curious. Okay, signal fire. Uh, Amber Pip Artifact, destroy Omni, yeah, from the main turn, from the creature, Brahmin creatures can fight. Hopefully we get a Brick Nasty, that would be amazing. Feats of Strength. Uh, Amber Pip, for the remainder of the turn, each time an enemy creature is destroyed in a fight, make a token creature. Oh, that could be a lot. Could be a lot of diplomats. Uh, Smith, love it, classic. Reprint. The Grand Gourd. Uh, at the start of your turn, if you control the most powerful creature or a creature tied for most powerful, make a token creature. I do have Sanctum in this deck and Brobnar, so that could be pretty sweet. Uh, Berserker Slam, love, love to see a Berserker Slam. I'm okay with that. Yes, break, nasty, break, nasty. Love to see it. Okay, so we've got Brick Nasty, and so I can make some tokens, I can get some Amber. Uh, let's see what else we got. Fresh marks. This is right friendly creature. If you do, exalt three enemy creatures. Press gang. Make a token creature. If an enemy creature was destroyed this turn, archive. Press gang. There's a lot of token creation over here. Rant and right. Oh, yes. This is uh, quickly becoming one of my favorite Brobnar cards in this set. If your opponent has eight or more, they lose half their amber, rounding down the loss. Love it. Oh, we got two. That's awesome. That is awesome. Okay. Stratos Mac. I don't think we're getting the whole band because uh, this is not enough. But deal three to a creature. If this damage destroys that creature, make a token creature. And okay. Oh boy. All right. So hold on. Hold on. So we did get Brick Nasty. But we only have three Brobnar creatures. That makes me sad. That makes me sad. But we do have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Amber Pips in Brobnar. Uh, because I think the next one that we're gonna look at. Um, so, dang. Dang, with the double rant and rive, I thought we were going somewhere. But we've got the Curse Relic. So, this is why we have all the Amber Pips. You cannot play Curse Relic, um, and it cannot be discarded from your hand except your card abilities. So, this could. Uh, be awkward if I don't have ways to get rid of it. Uh, so Gestrucho, the arcane. <coughs> Action, skill two, flip it, face down, becomes a token creature. So, okay, that's cool. Love skill two. Auction off, purge an artifact, its controller gains one. If I'm like a purge it from my hand, <laughs> the curse relic. Uh, gem coat vendor, action, steal one, deal one to gem coat vendor. Uh, ooh, got an Amber Pip. Uh, General Zaora Skirmish for each uh, Forge Key your opponent has. Make a token creature. Generous Offer. Love it. Destroy a friendly creature if you do steal two. Got some good steal effects already. Mass Buyout with double enhance. Which, uh, yeah, on board wipes, the double enhanced, uh, that could be tough. But, I mean, you get two pips for playing it and then you're destroying each one each player gains amber equal to half the number so i mean talk about a burst card um because straight up just yeah go crazy so that's it that's interesting uh shrewd investor you can uh have them gain one capture four Steward steward susan 
Oh, with more enhanced. Wow, okay. So with an amber pip. And then the visible hand, make two token creatures, reveal your hand to your opponent. The visible hand, oh, we got another one. Lots of tokens coming. Lots of tokens. Which, this could be pretty sweet. Uh, a couple of these followed by the mass buyout. I mean, because you're just getting so much amber. You play two of these in a mass buyout, all of a sudden you've got six amber and you're forging. Wow. Trading Frenzy. Friendly creature captures, uh, friendly creature and enemy creature each capture three from their opponent. Weird card, but yeah. All right, so we are moving into Sanctum. But first, I want to see how many amber goes. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six in there, so we're up to 14 pips already. Uh, all right, Renewed Life. Fully heal a creature, make a token creature for each damage healed this way. Um, yeah, so that could be cool with the Brobnar guys, uh, or if we had a Belligerent Guard or something, but uh, let's see what we got in the rest of Sanctum, because uh, that could be awesome. Uh, Baldrick the Bold. Yeah, nice reprint. <coughs> Ooh, a second one. Two of these guys. All right, glorious few. Uh, man, I'm, so I've opened two Winds of Exchange Sanctum decks and they both have glorious few in there. So that's a fun little card. Light Everlasting. Oh, I like it. Play a single creature from your discard pile anywhere in your battle line. Um, I, I've always liked this card, so I think that's cool. Battle Evangelist, after five, make a token creature. Um, I like this guy. Celestial Gorm with a draw pip, so soft artifact control. I have, uh, yeah, did, yeah. Did we have, I can't remember if it was this deck or another one. The, yeah, the auction off. So there's hard amber control, soft amber control. Love to see it. Outflank, each Sanctum Flank creature captures two from its opponent. Uh, another one with, uh, <laughs> with an extra pip, so. Uh, Infernus is gonna love these guys. Uh, yeah. All right, bursty burst. Oh, then we got Pandolf the Provoker, Taunt, play, enrage enemy creature with an amber pip. Revered Monk, plus two armor for each Sanctum neighbors, and last card. Taxing Journey with an extra pip. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I really don't wanna play Infernus, but uh, that is a lot of pips. So let's see how many pips we just got. All right, one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. So we are already up to 14. Uh, so six, that's 23 Amber Pips in this deck. 23 in here with a Diplomat that wants to reap and gain two at the same time. Uh, so that is weird. Uh, I'm a little bummed at the only three creatures in Brobnar. I think that could be bad. I love the double rant and rive. Um, that's pretty cool. There seem to be a lot of ways to make token creatures. Um, it's weird because like you have Smith where if I have more creatures, I'm getting three and then I've got glorious few where I get one for each one. My opponent has an excess. So there is, that's kind of cool because then you can really try to play to your outs. Um, but I think yeah, the double visible hand with the mass buyout is pretty interesting. Um, but the, the biggest thing is I don't know, I don't think there's any way to get rid of this unless I turn it into a token. Um, there's no like, uh, but because there is a lot of token creation, like I could theoretically maybe, uh, maybe get there, but there is no, like a random discard uh, from hand. I mean, it, so it's a good thing I have so many Amber Pips because I might be chained the whole game uh, with this. So, yeah. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. Welcome to Winds of Exchange, where a lot of the, my response is going to be like, yeah, I don't know. Uh, but I got to play it. So. Uh, we'll see what happens and uh, hope you enjoyed this deck opening. Oh, I forgot to uh, show you all the uh, title card if you are interested. The Mender that hovers over Dissection. Um, and there you can see all the fun 
the fun thing. So, uh, yeah, so I'm going to get this on the table, and let's uh, see how it plays. Thanks for tuning in, guys, and we'll see you in the next one.